Hey guys, Donnie Wrights out here. Bookmakers review the NFL card is shaping up for Sunday. My favorite video of the week always to do, upset alert. Three games I have for Sunday. Let's take a look at game number one, 459-460 on the rotation. One o'clock kickoff, the Green Bay Packers and the Detroit Lions. We're going to put the Green Bay Packers on upset alert. They're favored by three and a half points in this game. Everything we've seen from Green Bay this year stems from a wide receiving core that's either injured or just not good enough to perform in the NFL. Devontae Adams was shoved off in the offseason. They have yet to been able to find a guy to step up to that challenge. Alan Lazard might be back this week with a shoulder injury. Randall Cobb has been down for the past few weeks. The young rookie wide receivers not showing up and or injured. And let's take a look at the Detroit Lions. Most people look at their record. I know only one win here, but they played some decent football at home, including moving the football on offense, which is something that the Green Bay Packers have struggled to do consistently. Now, granted, TJ Hawkinson sent off to the rival Minnesota Vikings. Doesn't help that Detroit Lions offense, but now healthy at the wide receiver position. A couple good running backs. Jared Goff at home playing much better than he does on the road. Let's see if we can get an upset in this one. The Detroit Lions are going to put the Green Bay Packers on upset alert. Game number two we'll take at another one o'clock game here in the afternoon on Sunday. This rotation number is 461-462. It's the Los Angeles Chargers going on the road to take on the Atlanta Falcons. If you take a look at Marcus Mariota and the boys in first place in the NFC South, that's incredible at this time of year, thinking that they might have been a team that was pulling up in the rear for this season in the NFC South, but certainly playing some decent football, but more so on the Chargers, banged up and injured. Two starting wide receivers, Keenan Allen expected to be back for this game, probably not going to make the starting gate, re-injured his hamstring over the break. If we look at Mike Williams still a few weeks away from regaining his job in the starting lineup due to injury. Austin Eckler, Justin Herbert, very good, I understand. But if we're taking a look at a line, getting three points at home for the Atlanta Falcons, a really good chance they can pull the upset in A-Town. We're going to put those Chargers on upset alert. The final game of the day we'll talk about is a 425 game. This was probably, due to the NFL thinking and their scheduling, one of the better games we're going to see this season. Not the case. Rotation number 469 470. That's the Los Angeles Rams traveling to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Matthew Stafford maybe is injured, maybe he's not. Maybe the elbow is flaring up, but also more importantly, maybe the best wide receiver in football, Cooper Cup, banged up with an ankle injury. Head coach Sean McVay midweek said he expects him still to play this Sunday, but if you're not 100% for Cup, how's that offense going to be provided for and also score more points than the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? I'll tell you how. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have been terrible on offense and bad overall in this season. We expected them to walk towards a division championship and now find themselves not even in first place in the NFC South through roughly a quarter of the season. But if we're looking at this game overall, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are favored by three points. I'm going to put them on upset alert. If I can get Stafford and Cooper Cobb healthy for Sunday afternoon, the Tampa Bay Bucks feel like they should be laying points to anybody at this time. And that's why we're going to go on the Rams. Three games with opportunities to see an upset pulled. Let's see how many we get this weekend. I'm Donnie Wrightside for Bookmakers Review. And as always, good luck on those wagers.